Welcome back, folks, in these worrying times. This is Anthony Valentine, your camper nerd. Here today, I have a 1998 Auto Sleeper Symphony. It's on the Perjo 1.9 turbo diesel chassis. It's a medium wheelbase. I actually drove this back a couple of weeks ago from London, or just north of London, actually. But there was no change out of 200 miles. She drove absolutely lovely. Starts on the button. No crunches in the gearbox. Nice and smooth. No rattles or shakes. A lovely old girl. She's 22 years young. So obviously it goes without saying in these uh, times that we're living on at the moment. You can actually uh, still... This is on sale with no reserve, folks. On sale with no reserve. I always honour the highest bid if it, if it ends at the highest bid. You can look at my feedback. And then you can take the choice of a contactless delivery. And we'll discuss that over the phone. Pick up the phone if you wish before lockdown is removed. Or you can pay a deposit and then just collect it or have it delivered anywhere in the United Kingdom. So I will include a free delivery in these worrying times. So this will include a free delivery anywhere in the United Kingdom. I've been doing online sales for years without any hiccups. I always describe the good and the bad. So hopefully you will have the confidence to uh, bid accordingly. So uh, yes, let's have a little walk around and then I'll come back to that uh, contactless delivery possibility if you wish but as I say if you want any clarification just pick up the phone 0798 526 1078 I'll be happy to discuss at length I don't need to uh, exchange emails and texts back and forth we're twiddling the thumbs here so you may as well pick up the phone I'll be glad to speak to anybody so bodywork wise yeah she's not bad if you remember she's 22 years young um what can I say about it? Yeah, the body works good. There's a nice shine to it. Um, so let's get with all the negatives first. So there's a little bit of, uh, well, it seems it's solid at the moment, but obviously that'll last a few years like that, but it would be nice to grind that back to burr metal there and fill that in properly. So there's that. What else did I find? Uh, oh yeah, I found something here on the top here. It's just a little bit there. You can see there where it's been clearly been touched in in the past. So that again, it's all solid. Uh, the bottoms of the doors are fine. MOT history is quite good, folks. It's just a, I think last advisory. It's MOT till August. The last advisory has got a brake, ferrule, rust. And a couple of other silly little jobs. But feel free, just check it online. Check all the history. Sierra 131, Mike Romeo Bravo. That will give you all the MOT history. Uh, what else was there? Someone's just going to have a look at that. On the inner wheel arch there. That is solid, it's very just where the stripes have started to peel off. So we could perhaps attend to that to take it to the next level. Uh, let's have a look, anything else I found? No, nothing extra really. That cell doesn't look too bad, I would say. You can see there that's been painted at some stage, the bottom of the cell there. I am being extra pedantic and fussy for 22 years old, but I won't undersell anything <coughs> or under describe anything or over describe anything I'm well known for my videos on YouTube just search camper nerd on YouTube over 500 videos and probably over a hundred of all to sleepers alone again on the bottom of this sill a little bit grazing there I would suggest that's has that had a bit of welding or something there but I'm only zooming in. Most people wouldn't even pick up on that. Let's have a look under the bonnet. So 
looking at 1.9 turbo diesel Alford Street year battery ah, there's a little bit there that's been touched in there so just be wary of that so if we did want to take it to the next level I'd be cutting that out and putting a little piece in there but no front of the battery tray is quite solid which is not too bad a little bit of a surface area which is a common place there where the water runs down on the earthing strap but no she's all solid <coughs> four owners uh, we've even got a previous old logbook so we've actually got the name and address of all four owners from brand new the first owner had it for five years the second year owner had it for 11 years. Uh, the last owner's had it for four years. So quite a good uh, pedigree all in all. There you go. Nice straight dashboard. Front of the mats all nice and clean. Captain swivel seat. We've got the safe in there. And we've got the key to operate that. Fire extinguisher there as I just came out of the door. I think just over a hundred thousand miles. Let's have a look. A hundred and three thousand miles. So divide that by twenty-two years. Quite sensible. That's guaranteed miles. I've checked up online. CD player. It would appear it's never been smoked, and the cigarette lighter's not been used anyway. Let's put it that way. We've got a full set of keys. The master key. The two start it, the mobiliser keys and a full set of leisure keys. All nice and clean. I don't know what this is. It's some... Um, so it's a, there you go. Some sort of extra 12 volt supply for an accessory. Not quite sure. So you've got the leisure battery there. The leisure battery's been tested and is holding up the charge fine. Looking at the door shuts and the sill, all nice again. Right, let's get inside. So yes, coming back to the worrying times that we live in, I'll be uh, listing a lot more vehicles. If you want to keep your subscribe to my YouTube channel or alternatively save me as a favorite seller, there'll be a lot more vehicles getting listed over the coming weeks. You can then choose to pay a deposit and collect after lockdown or take a contactless delivery option during. Customer did that with me the other day as they said, no, we want a camper van on the drive. At least we can uh, sit in the camper van on the drive, pretend we're on a holiday so it's an extra room to live in. She's lovely inside, by the way. Close the side door. So we'll just span back out. There you go. This has got the rear upstairs bedroom or facility for a, a bed. I would suggest we call it the two plus two in the trade. So two adults downstairs and two children upstairs. So we'll just move that down there. And there we go. So you've got the three filling boards there. They will come here all the way back to here and it's even got the auto sleeper fold fold up stainless steel legs. The children will be very excited to be climbing up the ladders here onto the upstairs bed. Uh, I've gone through everything and I think I found everything's working. We've got all the lights working. The only light I couldn't get working was this. So it might just want a bulb, it might want a, a control panel, but allow for the worst that you need one of these. But that's the uh, only light that I can't find working as such. I'm plugged into the mains to demonstrate this centre one, because that will only work on mains. Start with the shower toilet area. Vanity cabinet 
Cold water, hot. And by the way, I've tested it and it's getting piping hot. All working fine. Toilet on the flush there. Let's have a look at the shower. Is that going to work? Oh yes. Toilet holder. Oh, well, let's include a toilet roll in these funny times. Shower tray. Yep, no cracks there. All quite clean and nice. Let's have a look if the and pipes are operating fine, yep. No problem there. So yeah, that's in good order there. Bathroom. Funny auto sleepers could come up with this idea. So it's over-engineering over it at its best, there you go. It'll have a place there to lock that into place. If I can just, it's a bit tricky with one hand on the camera. There you go. And what that does is create a bit of privacy from any person that's on the other side or in bed from here. Well, you can make your own mind up about that. If you're a bit shy to be that intimate in a camper van with two of you and you need that privacy, I'm saying no more. Uh, so this, they have the brass washers and buttons. I'm well known for uh, me wanting to change them and you can see here what happens. So this is 22 years old and a few times if you can imagine that's been going on for 22 years and it just wears on out. But I've actually got those in stock. So there you go, I've just put some in to show you. The large rosettes for the tops and the smaller rosettes for down below. So if you choose the retail option on the buy it now price, with the full MOT, including no advisories, I will include those fitted. Or you can take the buy it now price with the six months, I don't think six, like six months, four or five months till August, the MOT as it stands. That's up to you. Or you can just take the chance of the auction running to the end and no one's chosen the buy it now price. But quite a few in the past have chosen the buy it now price, so that's why you ask why where is it gone? It's not for sale anymore because someone has chosen the buy it now price. You take all that gamble out. So that's completely up to you. So it'll be on sale in the description with the three ways of buying it. Online, no reserve, or a buy it now price as it is, with no warranty given or implied, or a retail option with a new MOT. And the warranty included the only problem with that option at the moment we are struggling with service centers and garages closing down left right and center so i may not be able to get a new mot on it but of course the government have extended it for a further six months anyway so that's completely up to you which option you choose so it may be if you wanted the retail option you could pay a deposit and as soon as the world returns to normal and i can get an mot if you want a full 12 months mot on it then you can take delivery or collection after lockdown is removed but there will be a backlog of service centres and garages to do the work so that's what we're going to struggle with uh, coming back here yeah, all the blinds are nice all the fly nets operate as they should just lovely typical auto sleeper quality TV stand and cabinet so you've got the mains and a 12 volt supply as well as an aerial I think it's got the boost I think you did have a look in there. Is it powered on? Is it going to power on? Have we got the power switch? Oh, we have, yes. So there's the booster. And that's got an adjuster so you can adjust the TV for its best reception. So you've got the two table legs. You've got an extra if you want to put a trailer on anything. Uh, so you've got the small table from any marks of damage. We've also got the large table hidden behind there. I'll do some pictures of those and then you can have them whichever way set up you want. 
So you've got two table legs there. Uh, it's got some extra filling cushions. That'll be for making up the bed. We'll just put them out of the way first. And it's also got four travelling seat belts, which is very nice. So clearly, obviously, you'll have the two seat belts at the front. You've got the three-point seat belt on the forward-facing rear seat. And you've also got a seat belt, flat belt, on the sofa. I've just looked at the fixings, and it's been professionally fitted down to the chassis. And I don't think that was standard. In fact, I know it wouldn't have been standard, that by auto sleeper. So we just pull this lever here, that'll pull out, and then that bed will just go to the side there. That swivels round, this slides all the way forward, the back cushion flops over to the back, so you've got a single bed there and a single bed there, we'll bring that straight across and you've got a very large, well queen size bed I wouldn't say. Bigger than a double. I'll put the measurements on the video in the description. Uh, that's about it. Let's have a look here. Is this? Yep, that's operating fine. Cupboards above for all your crockery. Typical auto sleeper quality. Look at that. 22 years old. Everything just fits, click clunk, as it should. I repeat, if you search YouTube for Camper Nerd and Auto Sleeper, I'm well known for my love of them. I'm even known at the factory. They really are a premium product, built to last. All the upholstery is lovely. I don't think there's much more to show you folks, other than the kitchen area. A bit tricky to light the hobs, but I'll try while holding the camera. There you go. See if we can get the oven up a bit. I'm going to struggle with holding the camera. There's the oven. Nice and clean. We've got the grill. That's working. I can confirm that everything's working. All important kitchen sink. Hot and cold running water. Again, no problem three-way fridge seems to be working fine so we've got the mains there and I've just had it plugged in now for the last hour oh yes that's super cold yep that's frozen up there that's nice to see and we'll put the igniter on the fridge so what we do is just put that in there and if it lights it will stop sparking and it stops sparking straight away so we just hold that down for a few seconds let go and if it stops sparking, you leave the sparker on. That way, if the pilot light blows out accidentally with a gust of wind, the sparker will light it on automatically. So don't think, just because you've got the pilot light on, you switch the sparker off. I don't know whether the camera is going to pick up. No, I'm not going to get a right reflection, but you can see the pilot light on in there. Nice clean fridge. We'll switch the gas off to demonstrate a gust of wind. There you go and it sparks straight away. So that's the safety device. Oh, nice clean grill pan. Nice and fork drawer. Storage. Covered. Isolator switches for the gas bottle. And lastly, We've got the mains electric trip off. We've got the electric charger there, so we can switch it off. You can see that's on. And the water heater on electric. 
it, the, heats the water on electric and gas and I've tested both and both are perfectly fine and functional underneath there you've got access to the charger so that would charge the leisure battery when you're hooked up on mains and the shore flow water pump and this particular one has got a carver if you press that one there that lights up and that will heat the water on gas and that's fully functional operational no problem whatsoever I've tested it and on here we've got the gas central heating on blown air so just put that over to there as it is I don't know whether the microphone's just picked up there just takes a little while let's just come back to that in a minute while I just uh, show you the under sofa access to the trip for the carver see these rosettes that's what you get after 22 years but I've got those in stock the five pound a set for the button and rosette so if you chose the cheaper buy it now or the option and you wanted me to put them on I can put them all on brand new five pound that's the jack and brace so you do got space for storage Well, let's go back to that heating oh yes she's coming out nice and warm now folks so there we have it we'll just switch that off it's even got a rear speakers a couple of I would suggest at some stage it's had a clock there so if that's irritating you those two screws you can put a clock there and a picture frame that's about it she's lovely she really is all the original curtains all nice Let's have a quick look at the paperwork. The last owner's on it for since 16, so for four years. Properly registered as a motorhome, of course. So if you ring up the insurance and get an insurance quote off that registration number, you'll be pleasantly surprised. For some reason it's got two service books now I've not been able to today with ringing up the garage the Peugeot garage to find out some earlier servicing but she's fully stamped up there and I can't quite read that I think that's 2010 at 30,000 miles no 2,000 it might be 2,000 at 30,000 miles then it takes on to book two for some reason it was lost one or found and then found it again a lot more servicing but this garage did a lot of servicing for the second owner to the book 50, um, 65 53 57 so the second owner who had it who bought it when it was about five years old in fact it was six years old he bought it he bought it off brown hills and then he had it for 11 years I've only been able to, f there's a big gap there for the 11 years, I've only been able to find the later services by a Peugeot garage. Massive bills. I must have just gone into Peugeot and said, whatever it wants doing, wait for this one. So this one is in 2013. Look at this bill. And I wouldn't mind, there's nothing gap. Major. So you can see. That one at 2013 for 943 pound. Just a couple of brake hoses, uh, a clip a, and a brake caliper and a handbrake. So just mostly brakes and a full service, but that's Peugeot. There you go. Now wait for this one. This one, again, by that owner of a long time in 2014. So I would, it's worth pursuing this garage here. I bet there's a lot more service history prior to 2013, but wait for this bill. Wait for it. It's the big reveal. £2,413. You would appear he's had a bulb fitted, number plate, 
wipers, a new radiator, brake fluid change, front discs and pads, shrift and front rear brakes, a new drive shaft, a tyre and a front wheel bearing. And that's what they've charged you. Good grief. Well, you, at least you know in 2014, six years ago, it was service to the book. So there's the current MOT, August 20, but you can add six months expiry on, I think it's from April, so April, May, June, July, August, September, so you'll still get, you've got till September now because of the embargo. That might actually still be extended further, so you can carry, this is effectively MOT till September as it stands. So what have we got? A suspension component, ball joint, a slight play, power steering pipe, slightly corroded and a brake hose a slight corrosion so it's ferrule so it's not even they've hasn't even got corrosion to the brake pipe it's only the ferrule on the end of the brake pipe so it's not too bad at all really for a 22 year old vehicle uh, lots of manuals for some earlier servicing invoices and i think it's got virtually every mot from brand new it's even got the old style ones well that's enough of listening to me I'll just go outside and recap I don't think I showed you here on the video so let's open those rear doors So yes, just to recap, a 1998 Auto Sleeper Symphony on the 1.9 turbo diesel engine. She drives lovely, starts on the button, all the gears are there, the clutch is fine. She's got an effective MLT till September. On sale with no reserve, the highest bid wins. And we'll put two buy it now options in there, but obviously at the moment, the retail option might be a struggle or it might be delayed but I'm perfectly fine to offer a free delivery on all three options so whichever way however it ended up I will deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom free of charge in a safe manner what I mean by a safe manner is not on normal circumstances that I would ask for a lift to the nearest train station I won't be doing that this time so I will either get myself to the train station or I'll get a driver to bring me back. And all I can do is to have the safest option at the moment is not accept cash. So it'll have to be a contactless wireless bank transfer. I will come and deliver this and put it on your drive. Of course, I will uh, wipe down as much as I can with antibacterial wipes so I'll be wiping down the handle the steering wheel the gear stick the surrounding area here and of course the door and then I would suggest and then if you want to have a test drive at your end you're more than welcome obviously it's advised to use gloves but then if you wanted to inspect it further or start using it I would suggest a cool off period of four days because this uh, nasty C word virus apparently can live up to three days on a hard surface. So if you take the delivery option, I would suggest you're leaving it for at least three days. And then for your own peace of mind, you can wash it off again. But I will be giving it a thorough clean prior to delivery. So thanks for watching. My name's Anthony Valentine for Camper Nerd 0798 526. 1078 hopefully i've given you an extra length of a normal video to be extra descriptive in these uh, worrying times so you can hopefully get a better idea of the vehicle it is in question and just uh, purchase with the online video i've been doing this for years and years folks just look at me online videos so obviously viewing showrooms is not allowed in the present climate. Good luck folks and keep safe.